Hello Cyclone Fanatics, welcome to Mr. B at beautiful Clive, Iowa, 1995, Northwest 86th Street. He's Tim Sitzman, I'm Chris Williams, we're here just a little less than 24 hours yeah. after the Cyclones. Tim, they had a five-point loss to the Kansas Jayhawks, yeah. but that was one heck of a ball game. What a, what a showing by the Cyclones, and what a nice evening in general, and if anybody that's not a fan at or is a fan or isn't a fan would have enjoyed that evening. What a great what a great evening. Favorite part for me was at the beginning. Actually it was an all day thing on Wednesday. For but you, yeah. To see Johnny Orr. Yeah. I have a cool job. I get to meet a lot of cool people, do a lot of neat things. I've never before yesterday had the chance to, you know, even see Johnny Orr yeah. in person. I'd heard all the stories, you know. Uh, fanatics talk to me all the time about the good old days and the the eighties and whatnot. Yeah, see, but that was to me that was really cool to see him walk out there and do the legendary fist pump. I'd always heard about it, but I finally got to see it in real life. That was cool for me. W what's Johnny Orr mean to you? Well, I mean, I, you you lived it. You know, what I was it I, like? I experienced all those all those years that he was there, and coming from Michigan as he did, and coming mm -hmm. into the big the Big Twelve, that he he excited the crowd. He he brought some players that will will remember, like uh, Hornacek, of course, was one of them. Mm -hmm. that was unbelievable, and of course, he he coached uh, some of the great uh, shooters. Uh, I'm trying to think of a uh, Fred Hoiberg. Fred, Fred Hoiberg <laughs> as one of Jeff them. Jeff Grayer. Jeff Grayer. That's who I was thinking of. I'm sorry, I couldn't, my mind was blank. There, no problem. But, but and Fred, you know, who, who, what can you say about Fred? He's brought he brought to the the Cyclones what Johnny Orr brought to him back in his era is some enthusiasm and mm -hmm. you know as we say it in our business uh, you know enthusiasm will do a lot of talent and, and he puts enthusiasm on the floor every night and as as a fan you got to look at that and say wow you, we're getting our money's worth when we buy a ticket well and that that's the one thing I've noticed just with these Hoiberg teams I think it's going to be a trend they had no business being on, even on the floor with Kansas last night, they really didn't. Kansas's bench players have more talent than Iowa State there, starters. There's no question. A man for man, they're outmatched. But it, the enthusiasm and the heart that that Johnny Orr brought to him that particular night, and what Fred brings to him yeah. every night, is is obviously showing. I, I think that's just what you're going to see. You're going to see a real blue collar team when you look at Iowa State in the future, and it, I, I think it's perfect because that's what Iowans are. You know, and that's what Iowans appreciate. And I think that uh, you know Wayne Morgan went to an NCAA tournament and he got some upsets. And, and, and you can carry this on through the Greg McDermott era, but you didn't see that blue-collar effort, and I think that's kind of where the disconnect started. Now all of a sudden it, it, it's coming back to Ames, and that's what I really appreciate. And, and I, I think that's what Johnny, and when, going back to what we started this conversation about, I think that's what he brought mm -hmm. to, to uh, Hilton Coliseum was that blue-collar, work hard, we can, we, can, we can take care of the Giants. You know, I think the quote in the paper by Wayne Morgan was something. They, we, have, we have three guys that go to McDonald's. They have five All-Americans that are McDonald's <laughs> All-Americans. was kind of, a, I, kind of a paraphrase, but it was kind of a cute saying, and, and I, I think that's true. And I think Johnny brought just that enthusiasm and that that desire and will and effort to win, and that and it came out every night. And I think we're seeing that that kind of a feel in, in, in Coach Hoiberg. And well, it's I know gonna be fun. I, it's going to be a fun Big Twelve season. I do worry about the team wearing down because uh, I I don't think Jamie Vanderbeek can, can keep playing thirty nine minutes a game. But you know what? We'll burn that bridge when we get there. If I can use that cliche. All I know is Tim, when we were sitting here doing these videos a year ago. It's got a lot more positive feel this time around. There's no question. And you know what? This is a year when we know that that, that team that's practicing with these guys every night is just as good or better. So we got to realize that this is a year of building. Mm -hmm. and, and But what we're seeing is the core and the presence of Fred Hoiberg and, and Hilton Coliseum and, and the, maybe the next Johnny Orr, if you will, yep. to bring excitement to Hilton Coliseum again. Well, Tim, um, it was a good talk. I wanted to get your thoughts on it because, like say, you lived it. I did, and I can't sit here and tell you right. I remember what the good old days were like because, to me, the good old days were – yeah, Jake Sullivan and upsetting Texas when the team went and, eight and eight in the Big Twelve. And you know? those were good days. But and, and I think the statue to Johnny Orr up there is a, it's an it's an amazing tribute to the guy who really brought a lot of life to to basketball. And you know we've gone through a lot of years where our football team's been up and down, and, and we were a basketball school. We mm -hmm. went through the last few years before Fred came that we didn't even know if we were a basketball school as yeah. fans. And now I think we're we're starting to say, hey, Iowa State's a basketball power to be reckoned with in the Big Twelve in years to come. And and they're, you, when you come to Hilton Coliseum, for sure, you better put your, your uh, lace up your shoes. I had a guy ask me a question. It was a really intriguing question on my Des Moines Register chat earlier today. He says, if Royce White's playing this year, what's Iowa State's record? Yeah. And, I, and I think – That's a good question. I can't help but say 17-0, though. Well, it, if it, you, you put a body in that game last night, a, an impact post player, right. 
And there's no question to me that you beat Northern Iowa with Royce White. There's no question that you beat Cal, and there's no question that you beat Nebraska. Last night would be the only toss-up because I think it's just, I think it's tough to say you throw one guy in the mix and you beat the third-ranked team in America. But that's how close this team is right now. What we're looking at to really being a, a postseason contender. I, I I agree with you, and I I also agree with the fact that the, I think these young guys are gonna you're gonna see a little wear down as they get into the yeah. big, big Twelve and they travel and they, all that. It will happen. And and, and you, as a fan, we got to step back and say, hey, let's look to the future. Let's look to the excitement that's going on on that floor every night up uh, home or away. They're giving everything they have, and, and, and there's more good things to come. They're fun to watch. Tim, yep. uh, holidays are past. Yep. What's going on here, Mr. Well, B? You got anything going on? You know, as, as usual, our, our January and our July are our two sale months when we really have to move the merchandise out of the store, make room for the new spring goods that are going to be coming in in our case right now. So now's a good time to shop us and save some money out. The same high-quality service, the same high-quality products, Chris, that you and I have talked about over, yeah. the, over the last few months. And it's now time to come in. The selection's still pretty darn good. We had a great season, though. Thank you to all of you out there who shopped with us. But we had a great season, and I, I think it's time to come in in January and pick up a few bargains and help us get rid of this stuff so we can get some beautiful things in for spring. Well, I'm looking around, Tim. I see a lot of sales tags. Which a lot is, of sales tags. It's great it's, for the consumer. It's great time, and, and, and you still get all the same things we talk about at holiday time, free parking right at the door. We get the same service, same guys on the floor that we smile at every day, and it's and they're doing a great job. So come in and see us. We've got a lot of product. Love to save you a little money in, in January. All right, sounds great. Come see Tim, Northwest 86th Street, Clive, Iowa. We're at Mr. B. We will see you soon, Tim. Take care, buddy. Thanks, Chris. Hanging out here at Mr. B. So long, and we will root for the Cyclones on Saturday when Baylor goes to town. Take care.